Hello, friends. Welcome back. It's another happy hour. We're super happy that you're here and see our friends coming in now. The start of school is today in my area. So is it? We have better bandwidth. (laughs) All of the school age kids. Oh, I know, right? When the kids are all home. (laughs) What do you have there? Was that a bottle? It's a bottle of wine. I'll drink oh, you're drinking the bottle of wine. Awesome. <laughs> cheers. If, cheers. We, if we do it then we should do it properly, no? <laughs> oh, exactly. Of course. Of course. How do you have water here as well? How do you see Marie? I like her little her little cowboy hat on the emoji. I love that. And we got we got a person, someone, a couple of people have joined us now on Facebook. So excited to see them as well. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And that way we can pop up the topic here. So everybody should be seeing my screen. I can see your screen, Liz. Lovely. Okay. There we are. Cool. (laughs) Uh, What we are going to be doing today is talking about Anchor, how to use Anchor. What are some of those cases, use cases for your firm? And then one of the things that's unique about Anchor is that it's also a tool that you can um, teach your clients to use. So kind of different than some of the other proposal tools that are in our market that are for accounting firms specifically, Anchor really allows you to do some flexibility as to how you use it. So Mm -hmm. we are excited that everybody's here today. Um, Anchor is set up different than a lot of the tools that we're used to and accustomed to, and and the pricing is different. So very excited. Make sure to stay around because I think you'll be impressed. I'll All go right. Ahead and say, Heather, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. So, hey, everybody, for those of you that I haven't met before, my name is Heather Satterley, and I'm a CPA um, first and foremost, but I'm also the director of education and media at Woodard. So, I am the person that uh, is getting all that lovely content and learning together for you uh, at the Scaling New Heights Conference, which this year will be in Orlando, Florida. I'm also the senior editor of the Woodard Report, and I do lots of other, I wear lots of other hats over at Woodard, and I just love it over there. Great organization. I think that wearing lots of hats suits you, Heather. (laughs) (laughs) I think you've got a brain that's capable of a multitude of things, so Having flexibility in your role is definitely um, suiting. My name is Liz Scott, and I enjoy developing training. So a lot of what I do is spend time in how-tos, creating tutorials, and on-demand training for the accounting industry. So I get to have a blast every single day, and I get to listen and work with a lot of our peers in our community. So welcome, everyone. We have got a special guest with us today, and Tal, I am glad that you're here, and whenever I was reading your bio, I was completely blown away because of your level of expertise in our industry. So I don't want to steal any of the thunder, but Tal, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and give somebody just a little bit of background about you? Sure. So uh, as you already mentioned, yeah, I'm I'm a CPA as well. I'm an attorney. I was working, I, I had a, a small uh, tax practice actually in the UK. I lived there for a couple of years, but I did also my MBA. Um, and uh, yeah, I was uh, was also, also I was a consultant for a while. So I did various things uh, along my career. And I actually closed my firm to join uh, Inker about a year and a half ago. Uh, wow. So basically that's it. <laughs> that is, that's it. So So you <laughs> snuck one in on us. Did you say attorney? Yes, but that was mostly to make my mom proud. You know, we okay. need to do multiple things. She can brag about it. So that was the... <laughs> well, there's a lot of things that I could do to make my mom proud, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to go to school for uh, <laughs> so much education. Uh, I'm joking. I, I, grew, I, grew, I grew up uh, on Law & Order, if everybody remember this uh, this TV show. So that was the accounting stuff, the law stuff. And then I just, you know, I have a passion for numbers and uh, I guess for processes. So that make me go, made me go into accounting. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, <laughs> well, my sister's an attorney and I'm the accountant. So <laughs> we kind of split up. We did, did, we divided and conquered, right? So <laughs> that's, that's the best there is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a pleasure to meet everybody here. And uh, we're it's entirely as anchor. We're excited to join, uh, you know, to be there in front of the community. 
of happy hour community. <laughs> well, I was first introduced to Anchor well over a year ago um, by Utah. We, had, we 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 met at Scaling, and um, you and you know you showed me a little bit about it, and I'm excited. Um, about what you're doing and how far you've come and and one you know I'm excited to share what you know what your product is bringing to the accounting community that's unique and really different your business model is very different from what we've seen before so I'm excited for people to see all the different ways that anchor can help them not just in their business but with their clients yeah I agree and you know with Abby Hour, our role is to bring to our community a lot of the apps that are in our industry that are working specifically with accountants in our space and actively seeking uh, feedback. And so one of the, um, you know, one of the solutions that we see very committed to the community is Anchor. So we are grateful to have you here. And as many of you know, you know, we look at some of the other proposal tools that are out there and we, you know, we like to think about each of the different solutions and where they fit. And so how do they fit into your firm? Who is the best fit for those? And so today is going to be some unveiling about where does Anchor fit into the accounting firm space? And then once you learn a tool, then it's a lot easier to then be able to share a tool with your clients. So a lot of need for creating proposals, a lot of need for collecting payments. And so that's part of what we're going to be doing today. And I'm going to go ahead and start it off. So Tal, you had already said we're drinking. So here we are. <laughs> right from the classroom. That's good. <laughs> that's right. So drinking on a Tuesday. And here is where I'm going to go ahead and actually say, Tal, you brought so much to our community today that I don't want to um, keep the slides hostage. So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen, and then I'm going to allow you to share screen, and then I will take a drink here. Perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. And uh, just a bit of a kind of housekeeping. We're very casual here. It's uh, kind of, you know, it's open discussion, you can say. So please feel free to reach out questions, everybody. Um, it's perfectly fine. We don't need to wait to the end. When you want to hear something here, uh, if you want to hear something, just ask it. And uh, if we feel it's too much, then we'll just skip questions to the end. <laughs> I love that, though. That's a really great thing that, that our community definitely asks questions. And so I'm going to encourage all of you to go ahead and type them if you've got questions, because there's somebody else who's probably thinking the exact same thing. Definitely. And, and we have Talia from Anchor on, on uh, Appy Hour with us today, too, and she's going to be answering questions in the background. Um, so if you have any questions, please do throw them in the chat, throw them in the Q&A, and Liz and I will be taking a look, and Tal will all be taking a look at those. So don't be shy. Yeah, just feel free to stop me. Perfect. Fine. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen now, if it's okay with everybody. One second. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So sharing my screen. Okay, so I've heard that uh, to minimize on slides, so uh, we created a few, and then we're gonna dive in immediately into the demo itself. Um, but it's always like to give an added value because we really believe in value and you know how we can contribute to the community uh, of uh, of accountant just like yourself. So. As I said before, how to increase revenue slash cost in the most efficient way, which is kind of the thing you try to bring to, to, uh, to the businesses that use Anchor. And on the bottom, there's my title, there is my email here. And uh, if you feel you know, free to reach out uh, with any questions uh, after the presentation. So when you think about building collections, it's a mess, right? Losing money, wasting time, and drowning in manual, unbelievable work. And I always like to say, when, you know, think about the time I had my practice, I would spend my, you know, my dinners or Friday nights thinking about which client owes me money, uh, which client I need to, uh, I'm waiting for a proposal, uh, like a sign proposal. Um, and these are part of the challenges we face and actually everybody faced them. So we see that 90% of businesses fail uh, due to cash flow issues. Late payments are a big issues. Small businesses have invoices gone paid for a long time. Revenue is leaked, so sometimes we don't collect money we owe. They just they had a call with, uh, with a new client, and he was waiting for two months for a client to pay up. 
Um, and then there is about $50 billion of admin cost per year across the industry. A lot of money is spent on admin work. And that's even the time you spend on, on doing this work that you're not getting paid for. And we spend a lot of time as anchor to speak to dozens of accounting firm owners. And we kind of find three ways in which they try to cope the challenges. Um, they're getting things done, right? They're doing things for some years. It's working for them. It might take some time, but it happens. Make it happen. Some of them have a solution in place. You know, might take a, a few software, connect them with some duct tape, but you know, they, are, they have a solution. And we have those that, I mean, I don't think you really can see it, but it's a, it's a bottle of alcohol <laughs> covered with some, <laughs> with brown bag and uh, work documents. So these are kind of the situations we saw. And that made us to kind of think how we're gonna develop Anchor and the way we develop it. And we have been developing it because that's how we also progress is with firm owners, with people that use Anchor. So every new feature on Anchor comes from the community, from what people tell us they need. And that's something we cherish. We also don't take money for that like, like other companies we heard of. And when you think about Anchor, you can think about it in three buckets. And the first one is a simple and advanced proposal tool. It has packages, it has add-ons. So it gives you the ultimate way to really grow your revenue and you'll see it in a, in a few minutes. So your client can actually not just choose a package, which a lot of tools actually offer that, but you can also have a number of add-ons there. So your client can actually choose. And, and it's funny because apparently when you put uh, optionals for your client, like add-ons, and you maybe give a small discount, uh, which, I mean, they don't know which number you start from. Some people just choose to buy them in the beginning. It's a big money maker for our clients. And I guess it's because sometimes people want to buy when they're not being sold to, if you know what I mean. Your client gets a, a mobile first uh, proposal. They can actually look at it in their smartphone and we change how it looks. It lo you'll see in a second. And then your client connects a payment method and you can, they can choose between free ACH or credit card. And with Anchor, you can actually push the credit card fees to your clients. So they have a, you give them the option between free ACH or credit card and fees on them. And basically you don't need to pay for anyone's uh, holidays in the Bahamas. <laughs> Once the client signs the agreement, then you get to the next kind of model. And that's the amenable contract management or contract management and client portal. That's something that no one really in the industry offers. So you sign an agreement. Now you, you, know, you spend your time with your client. Maybe you want to increase the price because there is some scope change or you want to increase to change the scope or it's a new year and you actually want to increase the price for the next year, right? Or you want to add a service because your client tells you, hey, I love, I love getting my services from you. Can you also offer me additional one or advisor or something like that? So with Anchor, you simply go to the agreement, you press edit, you choose the service, edit, you change the price and you hit send. Your client will be notified for that and they will have X amount of days. You can define what is X, how many days to approve or reject. Otherwise, it's automatically accepted. And, and that's really helpful against lazy clients. And we all know that clients sometimes, sometimes tend to be lazy. So that's a, a really big thing. Of course, you can add one-time charges. So you don't need to go and uh, you know, build on QuickBooks or stuff like that. Everything is in one place. On the agreement itself, you can see an area of your status, everything that happened in the relationship, a perfect audit trail, something your client can see as well. And you can see all your invoices in one place. Your client can see it as well. So your client has a portal, but they don't need to sign in or start a story to sign up. They have a magic link. They can just press it and they're going to get there. So again, less friction to with your clients. The third model is the automations. Invoices go out automatically. Payments collected automatically from your client's account or credit card moved automatically into your bank account. Everything is synced into your QuickBooks everything, your invoices, your deposits. You don't need to do any action and you, we even not let you know on Anchor what's the status there. Reminders, notifications, and of course, renewals. And we'll talk about it later. And so, you know, one of the things that I want to kind of weigh in here is that, you know, Heather, you were talking about 
when you had met was at Scaling New Heights, and I'm going to say that was probably 2022. Yeah, and so that's the same year that I was introduced to Anchor. And so Tanya Hiltz is, you know, well respected in our community, and she was the one who was really giving a lot of industry feedback as to how to um, really make a tool that was specifically going to help our industry as far as from the accountant perspective. So whenever you're talking about that you've been working with firm owners, you know, part of that is accounting firm owners and part of that is other industries. But we definitely have a lot of people who are well known and well respected that have been assisting with Anchor. Definitely. And you can talk about our community of advisors we work with and partners. And you have names like uh, Ron Baker, Hector Garcia and so on. So a lot of people we've been working with, a lot of people from the community. Um, and that's because we don't assume we know everything. And we know that everyone has their own business and we can learn from everybody that's become very humble to develop this software. Um, and I think this is why people you know, want to use it. Um, on the bottom, you can see all of that without subscription and no more credit card fees, as I said. And that saves a lot of money to our businesses, to our clients. And I think that that's worth kind of like pausing on for just a second. So the no subscriptions is very unusual. That's one of those that even whenever I was first starting off and I was one of those people, <laughs> I kind of had a lawnmower with a crane scenario, but it was a little better than that. But I was still doing the, oh, yeah, there you go. I was still <laughs> using the Word doc mm -hmm. and I was editing that because what was the pain for me is is finding the words that I needed to replicate over and over again. So Word was my template and I would edit as needed, but I was spending a lot of time doing that. But that was my workaround, so I didn't have to pay for a solution. But I love what you're just, you're introducing. There is not a subscription price. It is as needed, which feels like it's more appropriate for the accounting community because we are very... Um, aware of the fees that are inside of our firms. We are, Liz. Exactly. And I think the, the, the other thing that is, you know, just a huge game changer for us is historically we've been, you know, we're a service industry and just because the accounting industry is, is a very ethical industry and we are, you know, good stewards and it's our job to look out for our clients. A lot of us get into this habit of waiting to bill or, not billing, not being top of mind, and we end up paying for it, right? So we do work without an engagement letter, without a deposit, and then, you know, things happen with clients. And most of the time, it's not, they don't mean to, maybe they run out of money and we never get paid, or, you know, something happens um, where we do a lot of out of scope work, right? Um, that we never agreed upon and we don't get paid for. So I love the fact that this is affordable, it's easy to use and implement, and then you're able to have that ability to make changes on the fly because we need the ability to do that. And when it's something that's really admin heavy for us, we mm -hmm. tend to put that aside so that we can get our work done and service our clients. So I love that you're working with, with you know, real practitioners that are sharing their needs and you guys are responding to it. It's, yep. it's a huge gift to us. So thank you. Yep. And, and that's, by the way, Joe uh, Woodard mentioned that on the Scanning New Heights. He did mention the scope creep. That was the camel example, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But I remember the camel. Yeah. Uh, and and that's something that everybody I speak with suffers. That I speak to tens of business owners every week, and everybody's suffering from that. People suffering because they they tend to send invoices later uh, because they don't have time to send the invoices. Uh, people, uh, you know, they forget to bill clients for some stuff because. It's not part of the recurring payments process on, on QBO, on other tools, or because they don't have flexibility in their tool, they ended up using additional tools to build a client for other things. So then the client gets a very not consistent experience. They don't understand where they build them from. They, they, they're losing their head. It's often, it's prone for mistake to mistakes and so on. So, and that's something we, we solve because we bring everything in one place. Well, and I love that you're working with some of these industry experts. You, you were talking about Hector Garcia and one of one of the selling reasons to me was listening to Hector talk one day about all of the scope creep 
And he said, one of the things that he does inside of his proposals is he'll list out what are the services that are agreed to, but then he thinks about all of the services that might be good add-ons. And he puts those down on the bottom as add-ons in order to be able to say, these things are not actually included in your subscription. So if you start to ask for those things, look down here, they're not included. You can add those later. And that right there was one of the most brilliant ways for our firm to save money and to also promote other um, offerings that may not have been part of what the client has subscribed to initially. Yeah, and, and we'll see an example of that just in a second. And that's something also we do. I can tell you, I spend a lot of time with our clients on how to price better, how to really get the maximum value of their contract of the, with their clients. And you'll see in a second because there is a lot of money left on the table. For and and, and you know the, the service you provide as firms, you need to get paid for that. Um, and and there is no reason why not to get paid for that. Um, so that's something we really want to help you with, and that's why we talk about the revenue. And with that, let's go into the demo. <laughs> um, and, and of course, again, feel free to reach out to, to ask any questions as we advance. Um, and here we go. So what you see here is, is Anchor. As we'll talk about it in a second, one of the things we care about the most is simplicity. And you will notice very fast, it's not a, an accounting tool. Uh, and that's on purpose. There's actually a methodology for developing a product. It's called KISS, keep it simple, stupid. Not because accountants are not smart, but actually because when something is more complex, it takes you more time and more complexity to use it. And then you spend more time on it. And we actually wanted to spend less time on Anchor because we want to automate your time and reduce the amount of work you, you do and not just let you spend time on Anchor to do, uh, to do random things. So because of that, we also tailored the dashboard not to be a data dump, but actually to help you to make decisions and to know what to, know what to do. And it divided into three parts, the agreements pipeline, the invoices pipeline and your cash flows. So when you're gonna get paid and how much? So for example, here we can see all the invoices that are clear to get paid and those need some attention. And in proposals, you can see all the approved one and those that are pending. So you wake up in the morning and you can, you can see that none of your proposals were reviewed. You can simply click and Anchor will take you exactly to where you wanna be. and which are the proposals actually you need to review. Now you can simply click on the proposal. And sorry in advance, my computer is very slow today. And you have all the information you need. When the client reviewed the proposal, you can see the automatic reminders sent to your clients. And we send both email and text because you know some clients are a bit uh, cheeky with, uh, oh, I didn't get the email and so on. You can send, of course, a reminder. And if the client is super cheeky, you can copy link to the proposal and send it in a personalized email, WhatsApp, text messages, whatever you want, but you have the control. Keep it simple, sweetheart. <laughs> nice is it, I like that. <laughs> Okay, so how we make things easy for you? A lot of defaults, a lot starting by default. So when you join Anchor, we help you to create a service library. And we actually, in advance, create a number of services already prepared for you, about 12 to 15. So for example, you might have your bookkeeping service. You can see I have a lot of bookkeeping services here. Book. So for example, just gonna show one of them. You can see it's already connected into my QuickBooks. And creating a service is super easy. You add the name, you add a description. Of course, you can make it a bit more fancy. You have all this ability and just wanted to show you how it looks like. So you have this flexibility. Every service on Anchor can be one time. So for example, it can be billed when the client signs the proposal immediately like an advanced fee, for example, for cleanup. It can also be manual. So you finish your work, you finish a project, you go into Anchor and you press bill now and your client is billed automatically. They don't need to approve anything because they already approved it in the service. 
Every service can be recurring weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and so on. A service can be fixed. It can be per hour as a unit, as a range to give again additional flexibility. The question is yes, Larry, but we'll talk about, and we'll talk about the differences soon. Um, so for example, if, our, if some of you are doing billable hours, so to give you again the control, you can give your clients a number of hours. So let's say 20 hours. And if you bill your client up to 20 hours, system automatically sends them an invoice and collect the money and reconciles uh, the transaction. If it's above that, your client will just need to press a button and say, I approve. And again, that's something we do when you join an uh, anchor and it usually requires a 30 minutes of commitment, maybe an hour, depends on the complexity of your business. But that's something you do once, that's your template library. It will not change with anything else you do in the system. I, I noticed that you have the ability to import services. Is that something from like a CSV file? So if I already have my services defined, I can just zip them right into Anchor? So yes, but I will say more than that. We actually help you with that. Oh. Anchor, so we have a, yeah, so we have a white glove service. So when you join Anchor, we help you on board immediately. So all your existing clients basically in, I mean, we do it like usually in about a day, you can start building all your existing clients on Anchor within about a day even less. And most of the time commitment is actually on our side. We do it for you, with you and for you, and we guide you in the process. Um, and that's part of it. So the idea is again, not even to spend time on onboarding to Anchor. So we always wanna save you the time. And I'm gonna talk later also on our customer success. It's also part of what you receive, like a dedicated customer success that helps you like a human being, not an AI. I have another question, if you yeah, don't mind. My other question is, um, Tal, do you have templates that people can start with? So if somebody's just getting started and they, do you have a group of templates that are, you know, have common services that accountants offer that they can get started with? Yes. So when you join Anchor, you see I have 20, 216 ser services here because I use it a lot for demos. But when you join Anchor, based on your industry, let's say, for example, if you're doing a account, like general accounting, tax, uh, bookkeeping, but even if you do a mix, we already create service templates on your anchor. About 10 to 15 depends on the practice. And of course we can provide more, but it's super easy to create it. And we help you to see, it. you saw how easy to create a service. Um, love it. We love our templates. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, and that again, it saves you time. So that's why we have it. Mm -hmm. So the service is one part of what we do here. Of course, we're gonna cover with you when you join things like the adding the team member integrations to, to QuickBooks and Zapier. I don't wanna spend time on it for now, but these are the best in class in the industry. We actually work with a number of very known uh, industry leaders that used to work for QuickBooks. Uh, so, and they always try to punch holes in our integration to make sure it's, it's very robust. And uh, we have the business settings and I'll talk about it in a second, but basically you can define all your business settings uh, you know, the default ones. So for example, um, are you gonna build your clients usually upfront or on a specific day? So the idea here is again, to save you time later, but putting all your, all your uh, uh, defaults defined from day one. So we did those two, and then we're ready to create an agreement. And it's as complicated as send an agreement, Choosing the client from the list or add a new client. Choose the services, the services, for example. I'm going to add monthly booking and service just as an example. And that's it. Proposal is ready to be to sent, to be sent. Why is that? Additional two parts here. You can see the payment settings. We already defined them in the business default. So upfront payments on the first, maybe this client is a bit uh, particular, so we can do it on the fourth. Who pay the credit card fees? The client, we define it again in the business settings. We can talk about it. As for the agreement settings, your terms and conditions, that's your legal verbiage. You can have as many as you want, but usually we say have one, and we'll explain about it in a second. And the auto approval, remember I told you about it change, for changes on Anchor. So how many days your client has, has to uh, reject or approve before it's automatically accepted. We also have this account and access, which allow you to actually add payment method on behalf of your clients. So these are things we define in the beginning. So basically we are all done. 
Now, before you send a client proposal, there's this client preview. And this client preview actually has two options here, or two uh, usages, use cases. One, for you to see what your client is going to experience so you can play with the proposal. And the second thing is to actually do a, a run for your client, to show your client what they're going to sign. Because when you actually show your client what they're going to sign, when they're going to get a proposal, they will not be surprised. So then it will be make it easier for them to sign it. So this is how it looks like. And this is actually how a proposal looks on Anchor. That's what your client is going to see. And it's designed to get signed fast. So the verbiage here, of course, can be tailored, but it's very clean. It does not look like legal documents. It does not look like scary legal documents, right? I'm an, I'm an attorney. When I get a contract, the first thing I do when I look at it, I put it on the side and, you know, put it, uh, make it a, a future me problem, as we say. Then the client review the agreement. And the first thing they see is what they're going to pay for and how much. When you buy on Amazon, you don't see legal terms. You see the TV and how much it costs, right? So the same thing on Anchor. They can see the description here. That's information you can add. And they see the billing terms and the payment terms and so on. After they approve the service, they can see a summary. All the agreement terms here and all the legal verbiage. It's not, it does not need to be in the beginning or in the scary first page. And that really helps the conversion. I know some, some, some uh, uh, software say they have proposals signed within 17 seconds. I will argue that this is not the median or the average. It's actually the shortest one. Uh, because of that, we have agreements that are signed within zero seconds. And I will have to explain about it in a second. Um, but basically that's it. Your client approved the terms. And here is the magic part that saves you a lot of money. The client can choose between free ACH or a credit card and fees on them. And they have the choice, but you give them a free option. So you don't need to, you know, to, to carry the 2.9% loss. So if 100% of your clients pay credit card and you carry the fees, and let's say you have a 10% profitability, we're talking about a 29% percent increase in profits immediately before tax of course and that's a big thing that's 29 percent of your money new money in your pocket that today you're spending and you should not well and i would even say with a lot of us where we've been using quickbooks online for a long time and so the ACH piece of the deposits in QuickBooks Online for years was free, and now it's no longer free. So seeing that there is a free option for those who have clients on reoccurring billing that are using ACH, to me, that's one of the big draws. I, I like being able to get back into a, <laughs> you know, the fees are, are, are mine. Now, if they choose to use a credit card, then that's going to be something different. But of course, there's going to be a fee involved. But I like that I have the, the ACH option there. Yeah. Yeah. Especially considering the, you know, the upcoming uh, price increase with, uh, with the, the Intuit just uh, announced like a month and a half ago, you know, prices go up, ACH prices go up to 1% to $15 and then 1% for new clients. The rumor is that they're going to go to 1% to all ACH payments in the upcoming uh, year. So, but that's to be seen. But basically, that's it. Now the client signs it. If we, they use a smartphone, they just swipe to sign. Uh, we have a, a, a question, Tal. Um, yeah. uh, we have a question from Tifant. Um, can you give the client the option to choose what they want, either the credit card or the yeah. ACH? That's, okay. that's, the, that's the client view. So what you see oh, now so this is the client view. Got it. That's, yeah, yeah. So just to explain, this is what the client see. It will be on a full page, of course, when Perfect. the client gets. So the client gets an email with a magic link. They press it. They see this one on a full page. That's how proposal looks on Anchor. If it's a smartphone, it's super cool. So the client can choose between free CH or credit card and fees on them. You don't need to bother about that. If you have their ACH on file, we also, there is a way and we can show you to, to add this on behalf of your client. Nice. 
I, I think that that's kind of the commonality with a lot of accounting firms is that <laughs> we know everything else about the client. So there's oftentimes that they'll share, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, a, a direct deposit type of form and we'll have yeah. that on file. But and I also saw that you oh, say that again. I just wanted to say the client can even switch between payment methods. So they can one month do ACH, one month do oh, credit wow. card, but they cannot disconnect the payment method. So you're always getting paid. Guys, that's important. There is no situation that you need to chase a payment from your client. And then uh, back in the company settings, when you were setting up Anchor, is there an option to say that you want to, I, I saw Plaid was one of the options. Is Can you go through and set up which kinds of payments that you want to accept? Or is it universal? These are the payments. This is universal. So it's ACH and credit card for now. Okay. Coupon. I mean, if, if you can decide to pay with a check, not on Anchor, <laughs> right. then we, yeah, so then it's okay. We can, if there's even an option to market the space externally, in general, no one wants to work with checks anymore, as you know, it's it's a challenge. So, yeah. and, and we have clients, one of our clients, it's a funny story. Um, so they have about 500 uh, clients of their own. Um, and uh, every month, one of the team members uh, would take a pickup truck and collect the checks around town. So that was the situation. And now they have zero of their clients using checks. And wow. the clients were like moms and pop shops, but also law firms and, and those places. Um, so that's basically the proposal stage. I want to show you something else in a second. So I want to show you a more advanced proposal. Now really can help you to grow your revenue. That's something I kind of created before. And here you can actually see packages. And I want to show you the logic I use when I design it. And that's the big thing. And I'm also going to talk about the $5 soon. Don't worry, Ellen. But the same view you can see here, but now the client has options. It's a bit, looks like a bit too much, but let's work on it together. So the starter package starts at $500. That's for that. There is a QuickBooks cleanup fee, upfront fee. So when your client signs the agreement, we immediately build them. That's for initial cleanup. On the completion, you can build them for additional $1,500. Now, of course, you can tailor it to your business. And they have optional services, monthly payroll, financial advisory, QBO advisory, and a subscription. So for example, in this situation, the client will see the services and they can come and choose you know, the financial advisory and the QBO and maybe even the subscription. And these are full prices, but that's your client can choose these add-ons. Now, that's one option for your client. A more advanced option is actually this one. So they have the upfront fee and they have the final fee, just like before, but I added a small discount. And they also have a basic monthly bookkeeping service, again, with a small discount, but that pushed them to buy more services from you now. And of course you can play with the discount at the initial price. Now I already offered them as well here are some, some additional services. The QBO start subscription, for example, and the QBO advisory, like you saw before, and financial advisor with a small discount here if I wanna motivate that. That's a second package. Now there is an all-inclusive package. And here, for example, again, I applied the discounts you saw before, but in this case, for example, I added a full discount, 100% discount on QBO advisor and QBO start subscription. And the monthly booking service is higher because here, for example, it includes all the services, but what you didn't see here, and that's my bad, sorry, here it includes, for example, you know, two services as part of the bookkeeping, the monthly bookkeeping. While here it includes everything for them. Got it. Okay. Now so it's here, very it's, clear. I I, can't, I really like the visuals here. I, I think that that's one of the things that um, really easy for your client to actually understand what it is that you're offering. Because I think that that's one of the areas that our clients struggle is they don't exactly understand what it is that we're doing but whenever you've got it printed out there and you've got these three packages which feels very much like a ron baker uh, ad here <laughs> so you know we always hear three options be able to um you know get the the chair just right but seeing the discounts uh, you know, it's going to maybe entice somebody to go ahead and say, okay, I want to subscribe to that, even though initially that's not maybe where I started. 
And so I do understand the upsell there and then adding on the additional services like payroll. That's a thing that oftentimes clients forget about or they don't understand that there's an additional fee for helping with payroll. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate the add-on services. Yeah. And you can have as many as you want, of course. Now think about it in a, in a more upselling way. You're setting up, you're showing. So some, some other companies, they, they, they allow you to show the services without a price. But why? You want to keep the value of your services. So the client can see here, for example, that they get this service for $300 for free. So if tomorrow they want additional advisory, the RFT already provided, tell them no problem. That's additional $300. If you show it as, as, as zero face value, or if you show it as included in your packages, then your client cannot see what you know, he's getting now. And for example, in this situation, the client knows that if they buy it later, they're gonna pay 150 or pay 70 per pay slip. So it gives you a real uh, ability to, you know, provide your client with a, a great option to upsell and to, you know, to buy more services. Well, and you know, I, I, it's not that I want to, hmm, it's not that I want to sell to my client. And that's one of the reasons that I think that this tool actually works for our industry is that most accounting professionals are terrible at sales. And so thinking about packages and thinking about service offerings and thinking about way, the way that the that sales logic works, this is kind of normal to, to say, here's what's included, here's what not is was is what is not included. And being able to have that true hands-on experience from the client perspective, I would think they would appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I love, I mean, I've been being me who I am, um, been scoping out your Zapier integration and you have such a, a, a why, you know, a good breadth of like different triggers and actions that you can do. So there's a lot of automation here, um, you know, that can bring your attention to when you need to do something or, even let another system that you're using integrate with Anchor. I love that. So I put yeah. the link in for everybody in the chat. So if you want to see what you can do in the automation end with Anchor and your other applications that you're using, you can just go click on it and then click on the integrations tab and it will show you all of the actions and triggers. There's a ton of them. Oh my so gosh. Well, done. well yeah, done. I think I scrolled four pages once you shared that link, Heather. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things while we're on these these service agreements and these contracts, one of the questions that we have is to ask about, can you make a date range or an expiration date as to when maybe you're no longer going to offer that discount? So maybe it's for the first 90 days or the first year. So not yet, but you can always retract the proposal, of course, and you can put like a, a note about that. Um we always adding features, so I already actually uh, wrote this uh, this note, and uh, we're always adding more features. Uh, for example, now we're working on a feature for auto increase year over year, like ten percent increase and things like that. Uh, the important to say is that you know once you have it set, it's automated. Invoices go out automatically, so everything flows automatically, and and then we can always you know add more elements in the way. I, I want to share one more thing before uh, because we with a few short of time, I want to show you the next phase, which is the agreement management. And that's an important one. So this is how an assigned agreement looks on Anchor. Between the parties, there is an e-signature, of course. You can see the services provided. <clears throat> and again, don't mind the services themselves, but it's part of it. And of course, you can see the legal, the TNC and so on. And your client have the same view. They can see the same thing. There is an activity log that shows an audit trail of everything that happened in the relationship, all the changes, all the invoices that went out, everything that happened, perfect audit trail, date and time. And again, your client can see the same thing, all the invoices in one place, and you can see it was synced to QuickBooks. Payment method, of course, you can see your, that your client connected, your client can actually also switch between them and add the additional ones. Now, because you manage the, the relationship, as I was saying, you have the ability for more functionality. So for example, you can add one-time charge. For example, your client tell you, pay to IRS, right? The one might be $500. So that's it, bill now. 
Now I actually created a new invoice, a one-time invoice for my client. So that easy. You don't need to build in other platforms. And nice. As we, and as we talked about the flexible agreements, so this bill, this service was five hundred dollars, and now I see there is much more work than I expected before. So the price should be higher. No need to sign a new agreement. I press and count my clicks. Edit. Edit. I changed the price to $600. I add the notes, for example, as discussed, because usually we we'll talk to the client before that. And that's it. Okay. Now you see the client will be notified okay. and having this case seven days to approve or reject, otherwise automatically accepted. And by the way, the same thing if now I want to add a new service. For example, you'll be a subscription. Maybe they want to want to pay the subscription via my my firm okay that is it. so changes happen on the fly and that's a big part because it saves you time just think how much time you spend on changes okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna stop and start asking some questions uh so one of the questions that was asked is about change orders so that's exactly what you're showing right here is that Correct. if somebody needs to Correct. change something here, we've got the change order we're putting in uh, that there's been a request and then they have seven days to decline it or to ask for edits. Otherwise, it's like you said, it's approved. Yeah, just like when, when QuickBooks change your prices, they don't ask for your approval, right? They just tell you price are going to change. So in this case, usually you're going to speak to your client before. But then most clients, they don't want to deal with the actual approval. They just want to make sure it happens. So we, but we added this feature in case, you know, because client, clients want to be in control as well. So they need to feel like they're in control. So we put this for them as well. And in their experience, they will have like an email telling them the agreement has been altered. You can reject or approve. They can seal the change and they can decide if they want to approve it or reject it. They well, take no action, it's approved. And you know, one of the things I, and stay on this activity log, because I have a question there too. One of the things that I like about uh, the change order is the transparency. So mm -hmm. again, I think that it's it's one of those jobs that we have that is very, um, you know, it's back office. So nobody really sees us work and most of us are virtual. So they literally don't see us. And so I think that having the visibility into these different agreements and the activity into what services are they subscribing to? I yep. really like that. I do too. This activity log that's here, one of the things that I, I think is nice about this is, do you mind going to the original contract? Because we had a question that was asking about um, the terms. Where are the terms stored? And does this actually replace their contract? Yes. And I'm going to yes. say- replace. So yeah, so so once the agreement is signed, this is a, this is a proposal turned into an engagement letter, into a signed contract. The terms, your legal terms are attached to the agreement. This is the legal verbiage. This never changes during the relationship. It never really changes. It talks about your commitments. It talks about the uh, limitation of liability if in cases you can do that. And um, you know- But this is editable. It is. Yeah, and, this, yeah. and this is actually something we, pro this, this is a template Anchor actually provides on Anchor for you if you don't have your own, if you don't have like an attorney who wrote you one. It's complemented by Anchor. You can, of course, add any anything you want for yourself. Nice. Nice. Now, I want to just show you one more thing, if I may, like a few more things. Um, can I, can I yeah. uh, just launch our poll real quick? We like to launch it about 10 minutes towards the end, if you don't mind, and then we'll jump no back problem. in. Okay. Yeah, you're the owners, of course. Awesome. So would you like to learn more about Anchor and have somebody reach out to you to with that white glove service and help you get started on it? Please do uh, answer yes on that. And we're going to send your information over to Tal uh, and the team so that they can reach out to you. So I'll just leave that up for just about a minute. Um, super exciting. And I love I love your pricing model because for those smaller firms, this is just so affordable for them to get started, right? You know, if for those firms that are just getting ramped up and even firms that are, you know, have a lot of clients, it's amazing. But I know, as Liz had said, when she was doing the Word documents, you know, when you're just getting started, it, you put things that can really help you on the admin side aside for the sake of growing your company. And with Anchor, you don't have to do that because it's five bucks. And, yeah. you know, if you're doing one new proposal a month. It's five bucks. Yeah. 
right? So okay. I well, love that. I actually wanted to keep the pricing to the end because we I always think that you know the the price is is something that is the last because we always talk about the value. Anchor pricing. So we said no subscription. You only pay five dollar per transaction. So when you get from your client, you build your clients for a thousand dollars, you will get nine nine five. We will get five. So it's a win win. If you're not getting paid, we are not getting paid. Right. If you send proposal, you can send a million proposals and not billing through Anchor, you will pay zero. We believe that when you use the full automation of Anchor, the full power of Anchor, only then you can pay the five dollar. And if other people will tell you this is not a, 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 a something that it can be sustained, uh, I will just tell you: search on Google how much an ACH transaction costs. Uh, because we buy in bulk, five dollar is very profitable for us. And that helps us keep the business uh, going while other companies choose to build their clients more. And this is their discretion. It's perfectly fine. Um, but that's that's good for us. Uh, as awesome. for timing, people ask ACH, seven business days. We're kind of working out to reduce it, hopefully to help it. And for credit card, two business days is standard. But your money will always land in your account on exactly the same day. Right. And that's important. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and close out the poll, everybody. Uh, I'll count you down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you. And Tiffany, you're correct. $150. Yes. And that includes, of course, the proposal to and so on. So I can show you a list of features, but let's talk about the value, the value for you as a business owners. And we can think about the value first in there as a revenue. Mobile first proposal, packages and add-ons, one-time recurring, fixed, hourly, quantity, automated change orders. Uh, you can change the price, add services, all of those features. But when you think about it, really, it's high conversion. So you get agreements signed faster. So you spend less time on them. You maximize the contract value. So you're getting more of your clients. Unlimited billing flexibility. Our competitor is manual work it's not any other company in the market that's how we see it and you stop scope creep you prevent it and you and you deal with that you can cut your costs stop paying subscription for proposal billing and other tools you shift credit card fees to your clients or they can use free ACH and you pay low ACH fees no subscriptions no credit card fees no variable ACH fees so one percent too so you can never know how much you're going to pay uh, every month. With Anchor, you know exactly how much you're going to pay, just like uh, uh, Tiffany asked. Reduce unmillable manual work. Create proposal and implement changes in bulk. Automated invoice, payments, collections, reconciliation. Everything is automated. Automated notifications and reminders. Portals for you and your clients, as you saw, and dedicated human customer success to build and help you. Stop spending time on proposals. Stop spending time on billing and collection and chasing money. Stay in control. Reduce friction with your clients and stop searching for assistance, as you already know when you search for assistance of other tools. And if you talk about a difference, also someone asked about us and Ignition. Three things among the other, all the features I talked about. And those that use Ignition, and just refer to that because someone mentioned that on the, on the question, as questions, simple and comprehensive. You have everything in one place and it's very simple to use, you saw it, I always say try multiple tools before you make a decision as business owners, that's your obligation, right? But you'll see the simplicity, simplicity and it saves you time. Flexible and amendable, that's something that you saw, it's super easy because it's built in in the software, it's not patches we added. So amendable agreements, live agreements, and it's affordable. And there we say fine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Onboarding, I'll just say it takes minutes. So we can add all your clients to Anchor in minutes. And um, we can talk about it later if you want. And one last thing I want to show is that if you join to the uh, FBR community, of course, and I know there was a poll before, but it's okay. And um, we're going to give you also $100 credits on Anchor. Um, and that's something to start with. Um, but I promise you will save much more time. And, uh, and you know, you can grow your business and manage it and focus on your business and not on building in collections, which is unbillable work, actually. That's it. Is that, do they just need to book the demo and mention Happy Hour or is there a code that they need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they can 
we can reach out to those that are on the list, those not on the list, yep. feel free to reach out. And Talia sent my emails here. There's also in my email here. Uh, let's awesome. say anchor.com. Um, anyway, say you're from Happy Hour, you will get that. Uh, make sure you say that anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. I, well, we're right at the the bottom of the hour. So I think that we had a lot of really good questions throughout today. Yeah. Tal, thank you for being flexible and answering those as we go, because it's always helpful whenever you're talking and answering questions and it stays relevant to the conversation. Right. My so. pleasure. And just one more thing I want to say, if I, if I may, that's referring to something you said in the beginning. One of the benefits of using Anchor, you can actually implement it with your clients as well because it's so simple and it's actually going to save you time and you can actually help your client manage their account receivables. So now you can spend less time, but still build them for the same amount of money. Now you're being paid for your value, not for the time you spend. And that's a big, it's a big saving of time and money and can help you to grow your business as well. And there's a great... There was a great question uh, uh, by Vivian who was asking, I know we, that you integrate with QuickBooks Online. Um, are you? What are your plans for integrations with other accounting platforms like Xero, Sage? Xero is coming up later this week. Great. This year. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're working on that as well. We are very fast, but we're bringing other really cool features and you will Fantastic. love that. Fantastic. Great. Awesome. Well, I can definitely say you've had a tremendous amount of expansion in our area. And I think that lots of people have been hearing about Anchor. Thank you for coming on to share. How does Anchor work? How does it fit into um, their, their firms and even potentially their clients' firms? So I want to thank say you thank you for coming on today. Absolutely. Thank you for and, and we've got a Heather, lot of you want to make this big announcement about who are I do, I do, and I already started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a lot of really great stuff coming up. Um, next week we have a firm spotlight with Sarah Prevost uh for Mintage Labs. And uh the so we're really excited to talk to her. Um, and I think I heard a rumor that Linda might be joining her too. So that would be really exciting as well. Uh and then in uh September 12th, we're going to be doing a firm spotlight with Sharon Fuller from Glasswell Adventures. She is amazing. She is. Her. She is just full is of amazing. energy, just a full of energy also, and so much. Also ask her which software it. she uses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which proposal and, tool do you use, Sharon? <laughs> ask, ask, Sharon ask Sharon as well what she uses. <laughs> we will. Absolutely. So what they're going to do on those firm spotlights, if you're joining us for the first time, this is where we're bringing in accountants just like you, and they're sharing their tech stacks that they're using in real life in their firms, and they're talking about the best practices that they employed to be successful, both with their teams and their clients. Um, so you don't want to miss these firm spotlights. They're really amazing people. They have just been fantastic um, and very interactive. So really looking forward to that. And then at the end of September, we have a deep dive with Forwardly, uh, which is a payment solution provider. And then on October 10th, I'm so excited. We have our dear friend, Judy back from Client Hub. So really excited for that as well. So we have a lot of fun things happening coming up this fall. Uh, want to, we can't wait to see you guys again. And as always, thank you all for joining us on Happy Hour. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Tal, for joining us. Bye-bye.